codex time. The Asari were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. The second species to join the citadel, the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic Deal. speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan rebellions several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. The Geth, the Krogan, evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds, even though these worlds were already inhabited. The Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. Driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, most Quarians now live aboard the migrant fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million Quarians, the flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Because of this, each Quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the pilgrimage when they come of age. They leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the Quarians for creating the Geth and for the negative impact their fleet has when it enters a system. This has led to many myths and rumors about the Quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts. The, si the Council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the Council species has general characteristics associated with the various pretty much, aspects pretty of much. governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel Conventions. 
Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. There we go. Actually, that was perfect timing. I just finished my my meal. Good. Welcome everyone back to Mass Effect, where we do exposition dumps at the end of every mission and at the beginning of every well episode, more or less. We have a whole bunch of to do. If I load up my journal. Actually, I don't have that much to do. Rita's sister, which we have to do. Reporter's request. I have to go do that one. Oh, I didn't. Ah, I didn't. I didn't actually go uh, look for the information in Fist's office, Dim. Uh, and at the scan of the keepers. Okay, so first things first. Decor is done. Decor. Ooh, good. Right there. Yeah, we can play the game now. Put that there. Okay, back to the game. And micro black holes. Because micro black holes are fun. Fist's office. Optical storage disk. Grab that. Actually, it's a wall safe. Time for more frogger. There we go. Lovely. Get that sweet, sweet experience. Here's Jenna. What's my paragon at, anyway? Yep. Ridiculous. More like Pogger. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're... I need to talk to you about <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't... I will. Thank you. <laughs> Not important. This one's more important. Talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. That was odd. What was he trying to tell I guess we'd better go find out. Oh, did I actually... Did we already show up? Oh, yes. Uh, Spectre training, which is the one thing we get... Uh, Gives me an additional atta attack bonus to all damage in my powers. Gives me extra health, more accuracy, and you regenerate uh, a more accuracy per second. Yes. It's called, you need to take a cab. See exact, please. Thank you very much. I sip my drink. Okay, good. Um... Well, first things first, we're not actually going to go deal with the quest first. We're going to go talk to the requisitions officer because licenses. Also, keeper. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stock for you, Commander. Enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, normally you could actually go come buy some stuff from him uh, originally, but you don't get access to the Master Gear. Spectre Master Gear is uh, de, de, really good. Um, per my personal favorite is actually this, the Assault Rifle, because look at that damage. Also, you know how like we have an accuracy rating of 1? 
Accuracy of 75. What? <laughs> uh, nevertheless. Also, uh, they have an Onyx. Yeah, they're really crazy. Um, but I... Yeah, they, uh, I want the license. Oh, sure. We'll grab the grenade upgrade, too. That's what I wanted. I want a license. I still love how the generic shotgun and everything else is just red. Maybe I'll just, like, keep the generic shotgun. Nah, I won't keep the generic shotgun this whole game. We'll have stuff to do later. Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? Hmm. This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me? I don't have enough Paragon, but okay, fine. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. I'll persuade Jax. No. You tip Jax off. Where can I find Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, we actually get some options. We can either just straight up shoot him, uh, attempt to arrest him, or we can actually just go along with his plan and get the mods. Uh, if I had two more points in Paragon, like I actually had up to this, I think I could actually use that. Um, I like asked there. It doesn't really do anything. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's go. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. You heard absolute. It, it, it wouldn't matter. You would know nothing. So, no big. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. Probably still won't. I'll probably listen to it first and see if it's a big deal. If it's not a big deal, I won't worry about it. It's not important. something for me here's your shipment Jellic. oh no it's a schedule Excellent. that no one knows about I, I am so worried more than I need and I didn't use last names or anything your so it's no big deal this. I won't need it you've earned some payment for your work as for Jenna I'll make sure now I need to get these mods into evidence thanks again Shepard there we go lovely Rounds that are terrible, but actually, first, first you, uh, you also use shotguns. Okay. Physic rounds are terrible. You should never use them. Grab a recoil dampener. Uh, 
sure. We'll give you the proof sighting. And that's the entire quest, actually. There's no more. Uh, reporter's request and scan the keepers. Okay. Med clinic. I want to check and see. Okay, no. Uh, you can get a quest from her uh, again, actually. So that's why I was quickly do doing something. Uh, do, 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 do. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview? Exclusive? My... You talk to me before you talk to a That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go. Mmm, sweet, sweet cash. Uh, da, da, da. uh, sure, just go this way. Really, I don't think there's anything other than... Conrad, who we have to constantly come visit. I think that's actually it. I thought I had a lot more to do. On the Citadel, anyway. Um. Well, I might as well go, go, go grab that keeper while I can. Did I already grab the keeper? I already grabbed this one. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that's about it. Do I have anything else? I literally don't think I have anything else to do here. So let's hit that button. In other news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he uh. does. Anything else? We have one more lead. 
Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. I wonder who we is our next squad involved, mate. It might be a good idea to try and find I her. wonder. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau. It's your decision, Commander. You're a specter now. And your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might. It's called. I can grab the gun. Shoot our own ship! It doesn't do anything. Stand by, shore party. Also, I don't want to be decontaminated. Decan I'm going to stand in the doorway. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. There we go. Grabbed that free, free, sweet, sweet paragon. And let's go talk to the crew. Because I got certain conversations that we will need to... Uh, do. The only one I'm not going to be talking to is Ashley and Caden because they're bland pieces of uh, blandness. Things that are bland are boring. I like the characters that aren't boring. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no s Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Hmm. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was- I heard It's about not that. the same. It seems pretty much the so same. So you're- An infection that makes- And I suppose it's destroying- I suppose it isn't- I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. You're ig As for the Krogan, I gave up on them all. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dead? We're sure not. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left But their they home. go to call. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. Most of us Rip. never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Garrus. Thanks for bringing me on. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CZ. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I... So you just quit because you didn't There's like There's more to it than that. Hmm. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. 
C-Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate me. I hope you made the right choice. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside C-Sec. Either way, I plan to... And without C-Sec headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can... Just do a good job and don't get in my way. Don't worry, Commander. There we go, the Mako. Acquisitions officer, who I'm not going to talk to yet because they're all money. Field integrity monitor. Element zero core. Ah, uh, sure. I'll go straight for the the charm. Sounds lovely. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting-edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the... I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this... I had no idea you found ship technology. It comes with being a quarian. <laughs> the migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource, but we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original... I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work, mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires... I should go. See you later. Yep. And that's it. Time to start doing uh, actual uh, Mass Effect 1 stuff. Cold, we're not going to be doing the main mission. No, nope, no, nope, we're just going to be doing side missions because I need experience and I want to wreck things. Uh, my basic goal would be about level level 25 to 30 before we even do... Oi, Discord. What's up? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Uh, if he's still, uh, quick shout out to Swan, Swan NC, uh, for doing a stream at this current time. Uh, if I finish streaming and he's still streaming what he's doing, I am s so hosting him immediately. So I might even ra do a, we might even do a raid a little bit. I don't know. Probably host though. Okay. The way this works more or less is pretty simple and straightforward. You have this red circle. This said red circle points where you have to go. Any notification which has like a number here is a place that you either have to go to or is a place you can go. That's a blatant location like the Citadel, Pinnacle Station, which is DLC. We're probably not going to do it. Novaria, uh, Asteroid X-57, which we are doing. Most of Pinnacle Station actually isn't that important. It's just if I need some ex extra experience, I'll go there off camera. Um... Let's see. We'll start with the Hawking Ada cluster, which currently only has the Sentry. The Sentry cluster. Uh, the Sentry system. There you go. Sentry. Lovely. Got that right. I wish we could skip this, but we can't. I guess that's one program aspect too. You can actually skip the opening, like basically the landing. In three, I think you can skip them as well. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Eta cluster. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed yeah. them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. 
You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched on to a group he identifies with. Ah, uh, okay. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. Wow. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, no. however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. Or maybe he did it himself, but yeah, they're dead. What so. else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier. But something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Elias soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. Good. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. And basically we can just simply move around and go point to an area. Here, get some information about what the thing is. We can get uh, materials by scanning. Uh, things like medallions of that. There are a whole bunch of them. You don't need to find them all uh, to even finish. As a note, whenever you see a moon, that's where you're going for whatever mission you're going to be doing uh, in the place. That's just, it's just fact. That's how it works. It will, you will always go to the moon if the moon is shown. Okay, time to explain how the Mako works. To say it moves like a drunk rhino is an understatement. It's right there. Uh, it controls fairly simply, but it's a little bit annoying. Spacebar does jets, which are mostly useless, but they are still useful in certain circumstances. You have the main gun, which uh, I believe is leveled. And then you have the big gun, it's fun. Uh, Make smoke clouds. Uh, it also doesn't have an overheat, so you just simply it just simply has a cooldown when you can fire it again. Uh, as I said, A and D basically basically uses the side as everything else does, but A turn moves moves either direction. W will go forward and obviously use this to turn. S will go backwards. Uh, and where you point your gun has no indication on where you're going. So W is more like accelerate uh, than actually move forward. Because unlike Shepard, they won't follow the, uh, the cursor. Now, the one good thing about the Mako and the way it's designed is that you can do this stuff like this with it. Uh, there's even an argument in Mass Effect 3 uh, between... There's a there's another uh, tank you get in Mass Effect 2. Basically, which one is superior? And <laughs> it's rather amusing. Time to keep moving. Time to tank stuff up. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. 
The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. I should have enough Paragon to actually end this peacefully. Keyword should. Oh, by the way, don't pull your gun in this. As soon as you pull your gun, every single biotic here will, is going, will attack you. So, be careful. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? You killed two Alliance officers. You had to know how this would end. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. You can still get out of this alive, Major. Surrender and nobody will get hurt. I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those <laughs> Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No, this, this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please. Give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the Fifth Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. I kind of just don't want to fight them. It's pain and suffer. It's, it's annoying to fight them. Straight up. It's just annoying to fight them. But nevertheless, it's not that bad. Time to keep moving. Whoa. Random armor. Fun fact, if you press N while uh, in the Mako, you can re immediately return to the Normandy. Which is lovely. Message coming in. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. By using my wits. Okay. Next up. Verge. If memory serves going there is a bad idea. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Ha Normandy, Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. We have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. I'm on it, Admiral. Finding Saren is still your top priority. But you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. 
We're transmitting all the locations of God. So his name is Silly. Okay, let's slowly move in. I know which one it is. I've done this recently enough. Light metal, lovely. It's this one, it's nothing. This one's a matriarch writing, I think. No, nope, there's nothing there. Thinking of a dead planet. Yeah, I knew one was a matriarch writing. It just wasn't the one I clicked on. Ragniri! Small barren terrestrial world. Number of juice. No mining corporations willing to risk investment. Uh, a rogue plant toy, Davats, uh, by the initial Solarian surveyor team, entered the system approximately 10,000 years ago and was trapped in a decaying orbit around Rigniri. It is nearing the end of a slow spiral inwards. Earthquakes and cyclonic windstorms are increasing common on Rigniri. Within the few hundred years, the planets will rip each other apart. Some Asari Trafzordiums have already announced the sponsorship of cruises to observe the spectacle. I guess. Okay, this is the only one that's actually I have to physically go inside, I think. Everything else is just blast them. I think anyway. Very quiet. Maybe it's just the wind. I don't know. I got nothing. I drove the wrong way. Quick save. And then singularity will be four. Shield boost can be six. Probably use pa I'll probably use shift though most of the time. Time for some pogger. Tally, shotgun, enjoy. Tally is using her shotgun. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, hi. Um, Singularity. Damping. Damping will actually just make them stop for some reason. Don't really actually know why. Uh, 
sabotage, and throw. Okay, and they're dead. There's more, obviously. Okay, now we have to be careful over this way, because there's now... Singularity! me which goes through uh, to be fair it was kind of my fault for uh oh, that was useless um it was kind of my fault for not um Oh, I already made the mat, okay. Safe, just to, just be careful. Um, hmm. it's been different. Time to keep moving. More geth. Well, actually, in this case, more husks too. says pistols are terrible. That should be all of them. That's the last of them. Basically, geth jam your uh, radar. That's pretty much a, the biggest lesson you can learn. Ooh, storage locker. Pistol, shotgun, and assault rifle. Oh, 
You know, I'll give her that. It's not that bad. It has low tech and biotic protection, but it's not bad. And obviously that uh, that uh, that heavy armor is. I'd more or less get rid of them. Let's run out. Lovely, lovely, jovely. Okay. Okay, time to keep moving. Keep moving and push forward. Maunar, nothing there. Solomaro, no. I think this is the one we actually have to go to. Nope, no, it isn't. But it has a heavy metal. Open. Keep forgetting, always check the, uh, the asteroid belt. Cold terrestrial world. Nothing big. Welcome everyone to Blue Mars. Memory serves. Oh, you guys get to see Colossus for the first time. Um, yeah, Colossuses are fun. They're big, they're bulky, they have a lot of hit points. And I forget that. Over here. They can also easily chip away at uh, the Mako's hit points. You got a level, I'll let you So you guys get the primes for the first time. Think of primes as just really hard, yeah. Well, obviously they're not really a match for a tank, but they still. Yes. We're halfway to driving these synthetic bastards out of the system. There we go. You also got to love a lot of this. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm gonna get, go straight for Unity just so I can res people. 
but then after that i think i'll work on getting like electron i'll uh, work on either getting singularity or something else uh oh we didn't level her actually so give her immunity because immunity is nice give uh would give her access to first aid uh tally I do want to give you shotguns, because then you do a whole bunch of damage with your shotgun. I'll give you one free pistol point, just for now. Uh, hacking in this game isn't great. It's not bad, by any means. Yeah. Back to the Normandy with us. Next up is Hong. Uh, once again, same thing. We're going to go from the outer to the in just to get the surveys done. Matriarch writings. Gaspen! This is where we go. Lovely. Uh, oh, it's this one. Um, this one's silly. I need to try and remember how to get up. I can I believe I can actually just get up right there. So careful climbing through mountains like this. Actually, if memory serves, which I don't think it does, but it might. Be so careful the amount of keys I'm clicking right now. I'd break key, uh, a, a non uh, mechanical keyboard in seconds. Feels like I'm playing an FPS. And quick adjustment of the movement. Oh, quick, quick movement adjustments. Hi, turrets. There's more than one way to get up here, but I chose actually the easiest way, amazingly enough. I normally don't think of. Heavy turrets! They're ba they're fairly simple and straightforward. All heavy turrets are the same. The only difference is Geth ones look cooler, I guess. Oh, the armatures. Armatures are like mini colossi. They're nowhere near as tough. They have about the same hit points and shields as these heavy turrets. The only difference they do is slightly less damage. But you can also run over armatures. Plenty fun. Well, while my shields heal, uh, have armor plating. Ashley doesn't have anything. Give her armor plating. Um, 
And there's radioactive rounds, which are pretty good, for, especially for kind of, especially for tally actually, because what they do, it basically give every, it gives them a, a negative to the cooldown reduction, so it takes longer for enemies' cooldown to take effect, which in most cases doesn't matter too much, but it, they can be handy. Um... There's one. No, I'll just Omni Gel everything other than the Recoil Damper. Now, I kind of want to sit here because uh, I have no more. I don't really have any more shields. But hopefully, the shields will regen pretty fast. Thanks to Tali, but there's no guarantee. Uh, having an engineer in your party uh, assists with the renovation of your vehicle, I guess. Probably be a good term. Go. My tire has been injured for some reason. And it only just randomly got injured. Hmm. Quickly do a repair just to get rid of it. Cause it's going to bug me, but it doesn't cost that much on me, gel, so we'll go for it. It also spends more time and gives us uh, some shields, so. Is this the one where you fight the guest ship? I think this is the one you fight the guest ship on. Yeah, you get you get to fight the guest drop ship with a tank. Which sounds just as cool as you guys might think. Blowing up a ship with a tank. The way to do this is basically do come into open fire on these guys. Once you get that, quickly go click. Open fire on these guys, grab some experience. Do it again. Rinse and repeat. We also got to level out of that. So I'm going to go with one charm just to make sure my charm is up to snuff. But I think I need 11 to actually do something. So I'm actually going to try and spam as much Paragon as I can get just to unlock the last two. I'm pretty sure you just actually only need about half your Paragon to upgrade it. So. Uh, oof. You know, I'm, I'll quickly try and uh, I'm going to try and get unlock lift because lift is pretty cool. Give her first aid, and then give her the ability to equip heavy armor because I have that heavy armor lying around. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Actually, no. We'll we'll, we'll grab the armor plating. We'll give it to Tully. It's just better armor for her. 
Also, the heavy armor in this game actually does look pretty good. It legitimately looks like... What would you think futuristic heavy armor looked like? Well, pretty accurate. Oh, Adept. Uh, I haven't bothered with upgrading Adept because, uh, if you're wondering, uh, simply because first it's not a, it's a it's a passive ability. Second, I haven't really cared about it too much. It's because it chain uh, there as you notice uh, this whole part here is blacked out. There's a point in the game when you will actually unlock this bit, and you will actually no longer be an Adept or one of your classes anymore. You'll be a specialty, so. I haven't bothered upgrading Adept, that's why. I more just want all the power, unique powers, except for Stasis. Stasis is terrible. In this game specifically, Stasis is terrible. In 3, it's pretty good. In 2, it's not bad, but I much prefer not to use it. Uh, lock those down. Breaking meta. <laughs> It's not actually really better or anything. Uh, most of the time, whenever you build Adept, you go straight for the powers and ignore Adept. If I was playing Soldier, Infiltrator, or Vanguard, I would probably have full uh, the passive because it gives you uh, health regen. And we all know how everyone loves those health regen. Got a turn right there. Uh, there's even an item called the first aid interface that I'm trying, I haven't been able to find yet, which is amazing. It literally just gives you the equivalent of uh, the soldier's uh, healing. And as a vanguard soldier or infiltrator, you can really make it broken. Uh, I should get one at least at some point, which would be really nice. Pretty much. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Go color duty. In this case, I just want powers. Powers are my thing. Uh, we have to go there. I think I'm gonna have a sniping contest with a turret. This is just something I always do, because you can actually see the, where the turrets are. You can actually basically do the equivalent to blow the turrets up before you even start running towards it. Let's see... Right... Well, the... I can get them, but I'm gonna have to move a little closer. Shown themselves yet. I don't think they've shown themselves yet. Oh, they didn't spawn in! Ah, uh, okay, that's funny. Uh, I was just far enough away where they weren't spawned in. Yo, we're gonna have a separate contest with turrets. Uh, there's one up there. There. Think we got him, yeah, we've got them all right. At a real, at about seven miles. Uh, is there another one? Yes, there is. It's coming from up there. I can't quite reach it, though, because of the uh, shape of the hill. But I might be able to hit it. Oh, no, it's right there. It's a little bit too far away for me to hit properly. It just... There we go. There we go, we blew another turret up from a distance. This way we have a nice calm ride up our slope. Without rockets firing in our face. The basic idea, oh, we missed one. Boo, oh well. The basic idea, you destroy them one by one as you slowly go up, but 
more fun doing it this way. Yeah, I know. I was firing at you. I just couldn't hit you. Right, right. There you go. You're dead. I wonder what would happen if you loaded. <laughs> Enemies are dead. Well, they're AI, and these are turrets, so... Do they have true AI? Well, they're not even actually true AI anyway. They're collective AI. They're like bees. Bees aren't people. Hashtag bees aren't people. Oh, tur Colossus! This receiver's picking up some kind of transmission. <laughs> Based on the signal strength, I'd say it's coming from inside this star cluster. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal to lock onto it. It's gotta be the main base. We can use the signal Don't to repeat lock onto yourself. its location and go take it out. Okay, um... <gasps> well, speak of the devil. Get exactly what I want. The first aid interface. Yo, yo, I want that health regen. Mmm, sweet, sweet health regen. Yeah, not now, Ashley. You're, you're bland of a character, but at least you're not quite as bland as your male counterpart. But at least your male counterpart has more powers than you. Burn. Grimsum. You see, today... It's going to be rather grim. Some of the time only, though. Oh, look, there's a moon. I wonder where we go. Oh, my lord. This The game does not like this system. Oh, no, he, the panda has something. Sure to check the asteroid belts because they sometimes have something. No, this one. Wait, hold it. Let's check the planet first. Nope, there's no gas. Nothing on the gas giant. So onto the moon. Moon right in front of a gas giant. That sounds great. Down we go. Love well, just a question mark. It doesn't actually pick, read that up as something for some reason. It's weird. It should, because that's a gas giant sitting right there. Oh my lord, that hurts. Uh, but yeah, that's a gas giant in my rear. So pretty pretty similar, actually. Yeah, Just not quite as uh, rogue. Because apparently it hasn't gone rogue yet. Shout out to Joe Cat. Link not in the description. Okay, it, they're already shooting at me. Hey, sniping is my job. I have the tank. I'm allowed to snipe. Come on, Colossus. Die, please. Thank you. Yeah, it just, it just like, ubered my ang aggro. Okay, we need to get rid of these uh, rocket troopers. Start pissing me off. Go. Oh no, I overheated my main gun. It's not the main gun. It's just the tiny gun that I have on the side. We're gonna charge it. Play a game of chicken with the Colossus. I win. Now where's the entrance? 
to this totally guest facility that has totally not just reused assets. Uh, must these suck, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna turn him into that. I'm gonna gel. No big. But I did get a level. Uh... Okay, there we go. I'll unlock lift, because if I can get lift, I can then start doing other things. Uh, also, singularity. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Give her advanced shield boost so she gets more shields. And we'll give her a soldier point. We'll give her a Quarian mechanist so she has more shields. And we'll give her another electronics. I'm going to need both me and her at full electronics to do something later on. Got it. Move. Put it down. Oh yeah, we were gonna I'm gonna put lift there. I was wondering why that was empty. Okay, this one's a little harder because we're some enemies we haven't fought before. Such as a Geth juggernaut. Tally, move. I'm going to cheat the game. Because my powers are all on cooldown. Oh. Hi. Use Unity. Send me back in. Use him using Meta Gel. Okay. Let's go. The problem is that Juggernaut right there. Okay, keep your focus on Ashley. There we go. Adapt. <laughs> I do like the Adept class. It is fun. We didn't get any levels from that. Okay. Upgrade. Nothing great here. Just Omni Gel. Slap Omni Gel on that. See. If... Ooh, I got a Biotic Amp from that. Nice. Uh, and a shotgun. And. Turian armor. The silverback is actually pretty nice, but I'm not going to be using Garrus. So, don't worry about it. Uh, oh, it's just a better version of what I got. Okay, great. Oh, we got a shotgun. Uh, sure, she was already using the Hurricane. Let's finally replace the shotgun, the default shotgun. Slap some Omnigel on it, because Omnigel just 
apparently unlocks everything. Back to the Normandy! But first things first, we're actually going to go talk to Tally. Nice timing, nice timing. Okay. By the way, for the majority of the beginning of section of this game, it'll probably be mostly doing, doing this, doing a lot of side quests. But... Once we finish the side quests, it'll pretty much just be main quest, main quest, main quest, main quest. Except for Vermeer, which is a location we'll do eventually. Um, that'll be done last, I think. Tally. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want to copy it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. You think you can use this information to destroy your enemy? Not right away. We will need to study it. It could take years. But it will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go Pretty ahead. Much. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you I never wanted anything Thank more. you, Shepard. All this does is really uh, allow you to do some other things in uh, Mass Effect 2. Which... It, it also provides a bit more sway with the loyalty, uh, her, her loyalty mission in Mass Effect 2, so it's no big deal. Doesn't do an incredible amount, I just kind of want to deal with it. Uh, there's only one other, there's only really one character that if you don't do something, will literally, you'll have to kill. Um, and we can't do that yet, so no big Message from Admiral Hackett, Command. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Lovely. Uh, what's next? Voyager? Voyager. Or is this the one I think it's that, I'm, that I don't want to do yet? This would be a bad idea. There's a, a few that I know I shouldn't do yet because there's they have. Commander, incoming signal from. Commander Shepard. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they... I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It's in the Voyager cluster? That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. It's not a store. Welcome everyone to the Amazon cluster. It's now, it is 100% owned by the Amazon Corporation. We'll get oh, on it, it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that. Definitely. Okay, first things first, go to Tremar. 
survey it. Ooh, there's nitrogen. What about civet? What do you got? Turn insignia. Lovely. Sonidum, however you pronounce this. Rare element, lovely. Darunka. Absolutely nothing. I get beneath it. I don't. I can't pronounce that. Don't worry about it. Throw these two in. Let's do. We'll go everyone to the other red planet. There's like eight. An alliance homing beacon. Let's go! Okie dokie. I should play Mario and Luigi at some point. Probably not on stream. I'll probably play it on YouTube at some point. Eventually. Maybe. If I feel like it. <laughs> Maybe if I buy uh, Mario and Luigi, I'll uh, go. Uh, I'll do a ROM dump of it and I'll play it on uh, stream. I'll play it something. I did twenty. Uh, Roto one sixty is great. Welcome everyone to the mine that you're probably going you're going to see 15,000 times. It's a mine. Mine, 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 mine. Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. A trap. It has to be. Yeah. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. All right, Shepard. No, we're we're pretty sure we know, they know exactly what they have. But let's do it anyway. Let's get moving. Time to not blow up. By the way, the easiest way to disarm it is the exact way that you do everything else. Throw Omni Gel on everything. Just boom. Best way to solve all your problems. Just slap Omni Gel on it. Don't think there's anything really in here. I think it's just simply. What the hell? Thank you, Ashley. Shepard, at last. You have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. By the way, uh, this is supposedly one of the races that uh, we eventually see later on, but they didn't do the they didn't do the model yet, so that's why it looks a little weird. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed, failed, failed because of you, your damnable holding action. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead man. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Shepard? We've got air and light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. Frogger with our lives on the line. Frogger with our lives on the line. Frogger with our lives on the line. There we go. 
grab a pistol. Let's get moving. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna kill you all with a pistol. Basically, the way this works, they also seized your Mako, so... If you look down there, there's your Mako. The way this works is you run to the Mako! Oh. They just, just do some quick firing to draw attention. And get into the Mako. Why? Because you can just blow them all up. There we go. Got some... Why? Why? What's with these terrain armor? I'm not using Garrus. Stop giving them to me. Sure. Sure, there we go. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't want to model some game. There we go. Now we have a lift. And I'll throw a point in electronics just so I can start doing that. Um Sure, I'll throw a point in assault rifles and we'll give you another soldier point. Give you electronics, because they're required later. Normandy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, don't don't worry about it. Magna boots. Totally could have worked there. Totally. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean they don't work on just just nothing? Nevertheless, Hades Gamma Clause. We have two portals to do. Uh, two, two of the Larry's coaching, so we're gonna go to both of them. Hades Gamma. Which, Message coming which in. Which gets moved. Patching it through. Commander, we've got a situation that requires your expertise. A group of fanatical biotics have kidnapped the chairman of the Parliament's subcommittee on transhuman studies. Their freighter sustained damage and is dead in space. Get in there and take them down. What kind of resistance should I expect? The biotics were seen loading equipment into the freighter. Expect traps and combat drones. Nothing you can't handle. What are the biotics asking for? They're L2 biotics, and most of them are suffering major side effects from the implants. The subcommittee denied a request for reparations to all L2 biotics. Apparently they'd like the chairman to reconsider. What's the priority on saving the chairman? Saving would be my preference, but we must make it clear that these tactics don't work, Commander. Your top priority is to neutralize the biotics. Understood, Admiral. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate you taking the time, Commander. I'm sending you the last known coordinates of the freighter. Good luck. Fifth fleet out. Well, first, before we even go about the freighter, let's go grab some stuff. There's nothing there. What about this one? Anything here? A protein data disk. Lovely. And this one. Fun fact, the Hades Gamma Cluster keeps constantly moving. They don't know which one's which, because... Hades Gamma shows up again in Mass Effect 2, but it's in a completely different spot. But then 3, it, it moves back to this spot. So. By the way, we're going aboard the Ontario.
It's a crate. With a shotgun and an assault rifle. Oh no, I'm running out of time. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. Not a timer. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes. If you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? Sure. You promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I <laughs> promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Well, first things first. Look at the fire. Oh, great. I think I'm replating though. Not for me. No, 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 no. Uh, totally. It's slightly weaker, but it provides more shields. Sh you know what? Sure. Sure. The only problem is it's bright yellow. I was not going to end him. This is sadly not Mass Effect 2, and I don't have interrupts, so I can't be really, really funny. So we're not going to end him. We will, we will return back to our ship. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. 
Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Besides, it's more funny this way. In certain cases. Besides, um, also, it actually will affect uh, Mass Effect 3 a little bit. Chairman Burns is actually a war asset. And if he was killed... Um, uh, I'll go to Trebin in a little bit. One minute. Yeah, my my yeah, my choices actually matter. So deal. Now they don't usually matter a huge amount, but they do matter. The only real choices that seriously matter happen later in the game, but they still matter. Research base. Don't even remember what's on this planet. Just looks like Tatooine. Just without two stars. Welcome to everyone to not Tatooine. It's um, very barren. It's dusty. Um, it's coarse. No one likes sand, it gets everywhere. Oh, it's this one. Okay, we're gonna be fighting some husks. Looks like nobody's home. Active rounds. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Thank you, Ashley, for pointing out the obvious. Sure, Tali can have the edge three. I'm still using this. Okay, I'm using the stinger too. Okay. Though, to be fair, later on in this game, I was thinking about doing one thing that's like a major decision and it's really important, but. I could totally just not do the Paragon route because I probably have enough Paragon to do it. But I'll probably still do it anyway because I even if I do Renegade, I usually do it because it usually just seems more appropriate. It makes most sense. Not always, but usually. How to fight husks 101. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now push. And singularity. Lift him. The survey team must have unearthed some alien. 
hidden technology that turned them into mindless fanatics. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Yeah, keep a note of that. We're going to see this again. Uh, let's throw one electronics and one singularity. One first aid, one also rifle. Yeah, just singularity, everything. Uh, electronics and mechanist. Singularity! Wait, hold it. Grenade! Lovely. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it's the ship one. <laughs> wait, wait, hold it. Is that? Yep, yep, it's the ship one. Literally, there are weapons in this game that are just simply better by def that are better, better, just straight up than everything else. It's the same thing with the armor. The scorpion armor is broken. It they, they, There's another one that the, they make. I think it's the chameleon. Or some of that. I don't really remember. That one's good too. Both of them are pretty identical. The only difference is what they look like. They explode. <laughs> oh, lovely. Scan on the orange stick side. Gemini Sigma. Well, it's called, it's called Gemini Sigma. There's two different types of clusters put together. Two different types of nebula. Altenoric. Italian. Parag. Antiopris. Quickly go check the... The Worthington is a cold uh, class uh, modular conveyor human design configured to mix freight and passenger hauling. Shut down state. The main thrusters are cold. And it is in orbit. From the planet. Save. Guess nobody's home. Most of the systems are shut down. It's just running on basic life support. Wooey the more we know. I think there's drones. Somebody set that trap. The whole place could be wired. Oh, I thought it was out of the range for that. Okay. Negative contacts, Commander. Mm. 
cockpit. Computer. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Okay. So from what it looks like, basically a biotic who uh, who's in love with someone who basically had some form of issue, basically got the equivalent of uh, thwapped. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. <sighs> Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It's your decision. You did the right thing, Commander. Think we got him, Commander. Okay. Ooh, a fusion explosive. Mmm. Oh, we have an incendiary explosive as well. Fusion explosive is fine. Contact. Don't worry, it's just a fusion demon cell. No! Damn it. Clear. Okay, who keeps setting them off? There was one I set off, and then everyone just decided, no, we had to set them all off. <laughs> That's more or less everywhere other than Kepler, because I know we shouldn't do the Kepler yet. So, the one we should do actually is, is go to Liara's dig site. Problem, there's four different places. So I think she's in Maston. Is in most definitely probably a Mason. Yeah, more explosions. They're always lovely. Better the explosion, more fun. Oh, I can't actually land on any of these planets. That's actually different. Nosuth. 
the Nossos? Nossos. That's what we use. Ah, does not like it. No, okay, no, th this, that's the one we go to for Leah. Because I just saw the name of the planet. It's Therum. Katavig, uh, Porolan, Shargila. Actually, there is something I should do, though. I should go to different air. Hey, y'all, you want to go kill some pirates? Pirate Slaying 101. Good job, smart guy. For kill is fun. Okay, we're, we're currently in a pressure hazard. Oh! Okay. Didn't really affect us too much. Let me do that again. I'm actually doing a quest that they like, I'm actually doing something before There we go. 
Why would a sniper come right at us with a pistol? Think we're good, Commander. I have questions. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, those are all terrible. Because if, if they're not as good as my assault rifle, then they're not as good as anyone else's assault rifle. Uh, sniper. Phoenix 3 light armor. We got some we got some great options here. We have uh, the gladiator, the gladiator, the gladiator, the survivor. Uh that's the medium armor, so it's worse. Uh really? Yeah, no, these are I'll just stick with what she has because not bad. Not the best stuff, but it's not the worst stuff. Let's keep moving. Actually, I'll keep it out because it makes it easier to see. My decryption is too low. Oh, wait. Apologies. I should probably always put that on vibrate. But... Now, nah, my decryption is still too low to do those. Okay. Oh, well. Time to keep moving. <laughs> Let's get moving. Okay. that is it's I should really because there are a few other areas but no we'll, we'll stay here and we will enter Nosos again there it is Therum Habitable in the past and present. Many Perthian ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining companies. Atmospheric pressure 0 0.68, surface pressure uh, temperature 59 degrees Celsius, surface gravity of 1.12 Gs. Welcome everyone to Therum. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of things to go over later. Okay. So welcome, Commander. I'm picking up some strange readings, really strange, like off the damn charts. 
It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. So basically the way this works, Theorem is more or less just a basic run, no no big no big deal. Uh not incredibly difficult. However, uh We're gonna have to think about doing this we'll be doing this next time, so just that just light heads up. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you here next time on Mass Effect. Bye-bye. If I could remember the button to end the stream.